I'm here at RSPB Arn in Dorset. It's one of my favourite reserves in the country. And it's one of my favourite days to come because this is Hen Harrier Day. It's the fourth one that we've had for the fourth consecutive year where people come together in various places across the country, this year, 10 different places, to protest peacefully about what's happening to our hen harriers and our upland moorland. But what is limiting hen harriers is illegal persecution. And Hen Harrier Day is here to say this has got to stop. The biggest challenge in this fight to save the hen harrier is getting enough people to be aware of what is going on. I think most ordinary people, if they knew the truth of what was going on, that we're being denied the opportunity to see this magnificent bird would absolutely come and join us in the fight to save them. So it's about getting that message out, getting the really simple message out. This is a really simple issue. We have criminals denying us the ability to see one of our most spectacular birds of prey. It is no more complicated than that. And the more people that come behind that simple argument, the more we'll be able to raise our voice, amplify it, and the more we'll be able to get that basic message out there that we need our hen harriers back. One of the nice things about Lush is having a, a network of shops in all the major high streets. It's quite useful for informing people. And, and people just didn't understand what was going on. What Lush has done is to produce a Sky Dancer bath bomb and then sell those through all the shops in the UK um, and then take all of the proceeds minus the VAT and encourage the RSPB to tag hen harriers um, and then give them the money each time they do. Of course, originally tagging them was to see where they went. So it had a lovely scientific sort of purpose. But uh, now, um, really, we've realised that the only way to deal with this fiercely illegal practice of shooting all the Harriers is to make sure that we know where it happens and when it happens and we can point the finger and we can say this won't do. Hen Harry Day is becoming established as part of the birding calendar, which is fantastic. The RSPB are getting more involved, ordinary people are getting more involved, but as against wildlife crime are keeping up their end. We're doing some fantastic things and it can seem discouraging, it can seem like a very long slog, but in the end, we will win. We will stop illegal persecution of one of our most iconic and magnificent birds of prey.